Hey everybody, Barry here again. I'm finally getting a chance to install a part that Chris sent me. Feels like 10 years ago. Do you see what it is yet? Do you see what it is yet? That's not supposed to be like that. There we go, brand new unit. I just went ahead and installed the left-hand side to see how it works, make sure everything fits. Let's go put in the right side together. They're super easy to install. And thank you again, Chris, for sending me these fog lights that fits the Escalade front end. Makes it look way better. And I think it's gonna make the ride a lot better. I'll have them on all the time. I suppose we should start with part numbers because I like giving part numbers. Left side, which is driver, GM515-B000L. Right side, GM515-B000R. Pretty self-explanatory. Fits Escalade, Escalade EXT, Escalade ESV, and that's it. I figured it would fit, you know, maybe a Denali or something like that, but no, just the Escalades. So right on top of this plate up here, you can see one screw, two screws, and there's another one right in around there. And they're going to be right here. The slotted hole right here, the single hole here, and the one just above my thumb are the only three bolts that screw onto this thing. You can use a 932nd or a... I think it's a six millimeter or seven. Maybe it's a seven. And they're just little screws with the little clip things that hold them in. It's really easy to change them. So my tripod doesn't go quite high enough here, but I'm just gonna work on this screw first. Helps to wiggle it around a little bit because these do get rusty, especially up north where I am. Just work on it a little bit at a time. On the other side, it actually broke away a little bit of this bumper, so I had to put a washer in there and a longer screw. But this one seems to be doing okay. So far, anyway. The screws are actually pretty easy to get in. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but... You know. The uh, fog light, the little light on the fog light switch comes on, but I've never actually had fog lights plugged in to see if that actually works or if the electrical is good because this harness is out of another truck so I don't know if it's good or not but if it's not we'll fix it. There's no real clear way I can see to put the camera up here but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold the camera right here and see if we can get a little bit of a shot. Well, here's the other screw right there, and here's the second one I have to take off. Not a very easy place to see at all. So when I get these two screws out, I'll check back. Well, we can see I ran into a little bit of an issue, but it's not too serious. Just need to work this screw out just a little bit at a time. I don't usually like using vice grips if I can help it, but I won't be reusing this screw because I've got a bunch of body ones from the interior and they're the same thing, just a little bit longer. So this will work just fine. Look at that. And we're good to go. We'll just pull out this old one. That's in rough shape. And it probably would have worked actually if it had a lens on it, but not anymore. This is what I was talking about, about the interior ones. These are the little screws that you'll find pretty much the entirety of that interior all along the bottom of the dash. The ones that hold the gauge cluster in, that holds the dash pad on top. Lots of these. And I'm pretty sure it's the same screw minus that big washer, which you can put a washer on if you wanted to. But uh, I'd rather have that nice clean screw than this in case I ever need to take it out again, that's gonna cause me more trouble. I found an even shorter screw, so that's perfect. It's about the same size as the factory ones. Now this washer is a bit overkill, but it will work. All of our little clips are in good shape, so we can just bolt the light right back on. Perfect. And now we get to put on the new one. How cool is that? I have three screws in my hand. And I always do that where I put too much stuff in my hands and then I'm like wait where do I put all this so I can use it all right there's one and 
hoping that it just plugs in and works. Nothing's done that for me so far, but I mean, there's always this time, right? If it is, you just gotta go by feel. That's pretty normal stuff. Okay, that looks good. I'm very surprised that all the hardware came off. Usually all these little tiny clips and screws all strip out and break. And... But no, it's the least rustiest part on this whole escalator, I think. Which is definitely a win in my books. grease perfect let's go try them out we got to get a look at it first though oh look how good it looks gotta center that one up a little bit let's see if i can let me go up inside there we go that's where it goes up into the bumper i might have to kind of ply up the bracket a little bit or something like that but looks good though let's turn them on all right let's see oh i think something worked <laughs> let's go look do they both work oh they do that is so cool let's go turn on the headlights because this thing has factory hids and that is even super cooler. Oh, there they are. You gotta wait for the old things to warm up. There we go. That is so cool. Look at it ghosting from the HID on the screen. <laughs> awesome. I have factory fog lights that work. I've never had one of these style trucks where the fog lights worked. Sick. Joey just mentioned I should put some LEDs in them. I was like, hmm, maybe I should. But for now, they work awesome and it looks so cool. Something else I should probably do is polish up those headlight lenses. Man, I'm so excited to have new fog light lenses in this. Like, I don't even know why. Factory parts just make me so excited. That is so cool. So I'm all done. Thank you so much to Chris for sending those fog lights and being overly patient with me over the last year or so while I've been waiting to get this thing on the road to install the fog lights that he paid money for. So I'm all done for today. I know this video is far ahead of my regular weekly uploads, but I just wanted to get this one out right away and don't look too far into turning the key and things working us. That'll come later. So thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks to my YouTube members, patrons, and subscribers. If you want to check out my Patreon, it's patreon.com slash stationroadratrods. My YouTube members link is down here. And thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.